now I want to take a look at Endeavor OS. And it's based on Arch, and so is my beloved Manjaro. So I'm kind of going to go and compare the two. I want to know what Endeavor does that Manjaro doesn't, or doesn't that Manjaro does. Uh, looking at the distro watch, based on Arch. Origin, Netherlands. That's That just gives it bonus points. Cool. Uh, desktops available, Budgie, Cinnamon, Gnome, i3, KD Plasma, LXQT, Mate, XFCE. It says Endeavor OS is a rolling release Linux based on Arch Linux. The project aims to be a spiritual successor to Intergos. Heard a lot of good things about Intergos and never did try it. It went away. This is kind of the re what everybody's using as a replacement. This is, as far as I know, supposed to be more Arch than Monjero is. Closer to being Arch than Monjero is. Which could be good or bad. I'll, I don't know. Uh, says provide an easy, easy setup, pre-configured desktop environment on an Arch base. Endeavor OS offers both offline and online install options. The offline installer Calamaris uses XFCE desktop by default. And the online installer can install optional software components, including most popular desktop environments. I will be going with the KDE Plasma. Of course I will. It's been number one, or no, number two, for what looks like at least a year in DistroWatch. DistroWatch, I know, is not a very good telltale, but it is a thing. So, there you go. Clicking on the EndeavorOS.com homepage. Our ISO refresh is coming soon. I don't know what that means. Friendly community, powerful, flexible base, discovery, knowledge base, wiki articles, okay. Create your own destiny with an incredible journey. Sounds like we're going on an adventure. If you like to roll up your sleeves and go on an adventure, then you might want to give us a try. Endeavor OS isn't an express way to predefine the destination in computing. It's all about the journey towards... Okay, so this sounds like we're not giving... We're giving you the base easily. The rest of it's on you. I'll see how that, how that pans out. Uh, he uses Yay. Being Arch-based, I'm sure it has Pac-Man. Yay is pre-installed by the looks. Has a welcome app. That's cool. Okay, so let's let's get started. Booting up the ISO gives us this install default, or you can use the NVIDIA non-free latest cards, no legacy x86-64. That's cool. That's kind of like Pop OS saying if you are unfortunate enough to have an NVIDIA card, we know that it really sucks to try to get it to work in Linux. So we're going to make it as easy as possible. That's what that says. So kudos Endeavor for trying. I, I can't test it. I don't have NVIDIA. So kudos to Endeavor for at least trying to get NVIDIA to work. Easy peasy. Uh, boot existing ran, uh, OS, run memtest, hardware info, reboot, power off. We are going to go with the Endeavor OS install default. And let's see what happens. On booting the ISO, we come to the this lovely, lovely background. I love that background. Endeavor OS. This is XFCE by default. Looks really nice. I'm not a big fan of XFCE, but they did a really good job here. Making it look really nice. You have the option right here. Click start the installer. Update mirrors. 
Let's see what that does. Nothing. Oh, there it is. United States. Yep. Huh. I like the on-screen display. Sweet. Save to. Mirror list. Cool. Let's start the installer. Got an offline and an online button. Install log on terminal. Pac-Man log on terminal. I like both of those. Online. Internet required. Calamaris. Very nice little installer. Next. 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 Race disk. EXT4. Cool. Hmm. Oh, right here you have options. EXT4 or BTRFS. That's all you get. It's kind of all you need. Those are the two best ones, I think. Next. We're going to go with KDE Desktop. Next. Install now. Hard to find that corner. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Our journey. There's our Pac-Man log. Synchronizing package list. Installations faster than ever thanks to Arch Linux and Pac-Man. New live ISO recreated and updated based on Arch ISO. That's a cool screen. I love the science stuff behind it. That's cool. Nice touch. Hmm. Cool. Default slideshow. Next slide. There's our next slide. Endless possibilities. Welcome to explore. Welcome to explore. The Endeavor OS universe. To hmm. Please be patient. Some processes are simply not recorded by the progress bar. Okay, I'm going to pause recording right now, pick up at the other end of it. All done, ready to reboot. Let's reboot. Booting into the... live media so I'm going to boot from existing OS Endeavor OS on Linux 2497-1 arch sweet Update mirrors. I don't know if I have to do this again or not. I don't know.
there's nothing to say whether it should be done or not. It's it, it does say after install tasks, so yeah. In that case, yes. After you install a system, you should update the mirrors. I agree. And it's grayed out now, showing that it's been done. So I would say that's the case. Update system. EOS YAD run CMDT. Searching for AUR updates. Nothing to do. I'm guessing that it updated. Well, it was an online installer, so it should only have brought in the most recent updates of stuff. So, yeah, it makes sense. Configure EOS update notifier. Schedule operation test. Schedule. Schedule. First check after system startup, 30 seconds. Check period daily. Persistent. Okay. That's cool. You can tell it when to update. When to check for updates. Uh, display manager. Okay. Meh. Display resolution. Default wallpaper. Assistant. Browse all arch packages. To install, use Pac-Man or Yay. Browse all arch packages, and then it's going to fire up a Firefox browser. So that tells me there is no package manager. No package manager. <sighs> okay, so you just kind of have to know what you want to install. You can find it here. No package manager. That's a little disappointing. I'm sure you can install one, but... Anybody that would be using this that would need a package manager doesn't know how to install a package manager. Catch-22. So let's play around a little bit. I need a terminal. Apparently. And... want to install Google Chrome as a new user I'm going to install Google Chrome it says I can use Pac-Man or yay so I'm going to try Pac-Man first pseudo Pac-Man yeah, dash capital S that dash capital S means install why I don't know Google Chrome. Not found. Understandable. Yay. Google Chrome. Pick the one you want. AUR Google Chrome, number one. So that's how you install Google Chrome on a Brand new install of Endeavor OS. Yay, Google Chrome. Does that mean we have a Google Chrome launcher from Terminal? Nope. It is right there, though. 
Nice. Okay, so there's no package manager. Is there a hardware manager? In Manjaro, you can bring up the hardware manager and make sure you have drivers installed for whatever you might have hardware-wise. Hardware locality, show hardware topology. Is that what I want? I don't know. What is that? Huh. I don't know what that is. Okay. So apparently there's no hardware manager either. Interesting. Very arch. Not very user friendly, I don't think. But if you wanted an easy install of an Arch, very close to an Arch based system, this is definitely it. <clears throat> ah. What do I need? Pseudo Pac Man hyphen S Caden Live. I would need Kaden Live. That's what I do my editing videos on. OBS. I know that's not already installed. Okay, I think I've seen enough. Uh, my take. Not for a new user coming from Windows or Apple. Things need to be easier, like in Monjero. Package manager, hardware, GUI manager. So Monjero would still be my go-to as a recommendation for a new user. But this is very nice. As somebody that's used Linux for many years, if Monjero suddenly went away tomorrow... I would probably be running Endeavor OS. This is really nice. It would take me a little while to get it set up exactly how I want it. Kind of how I have my, my Manjaro set up now. But clean install. Pretty, really easy to install. And I do everything from the terminal anyway, so it wouldn't affect me much. But I'd have to figure out, I would have to figure out something new to recommend to, to new users. Because I don't think this would be it. Now if you want, as a new user, you want to come into Linux. And you want to do it in, in, the, in a harder way. In a way that forces you to learn Linux for sure. And you don't feel ready for an Arch install. This would be, this could very easily be my intermediate recommendation. Super nice. Super clean. And Netherlands, come on. Really? Bonus. I'll keep my eye on this. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.